Welcome back, everybody, for more Santa Lucia. So, last time, and I'm, okay, first of all, I do want to apologize. I know, another two months. Um, yeah, my laptop kind of, like, crapped the bed, so I had to go out and get a new one. Yay! And even worse, I lost all my saves. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, no, no serious, though, like... Yeah, sorry for all. Sorry for the wait, but I am gonna try. I am planning on trying to uh, upload more often when I can. Um, obviously, life gets busy, you know. And I know I do this for fun, but I do want to try and be a bit more consistent if I can, you know. Like, I mean, life's life, you know. I have a whole lot of things going on, but but I do want to upload more when I can. But nevertheless. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be recording more. And, uh, yeah. Uh, last time, uh, during Ben's little, like, <laughs> after Ben kind of, like, told, uh, Brian off, uh, he was trying to, like, kind of prove himself. And he went on Grinder, met this, uh, rack dude, uh, named Seb. And, uh, yeah. And he has this weird, like, anxiety. He had a lot of hookup anxiety, which relatable uh <laughs> but uh but yeah no it, it's very interesting because like what was really kind of sweet in the end was that seb kind of like gave him some really good words of wisdom when it comes to stuff like that especially for being so young and going on hookup apps like that so honestly it was a really sweet episode and i'm really excited to see where it goes now and i don't know if this is going to be a brian is it going to be more brian stuff or if it's going to be a more general episode uh episode but i guess we'll find out so let's continue as you can see i'm back to just one save file <laughs> Ugh, it's nice to let loose once in a while. I wander out onto the dance floor and join the massive uh, gyrating bodies. Me and the girls decided it was time for another ladies' night. So here we are again, back at the club. God, I fucking miss this shit! So sick and tired of having to keep up appearances all the time. Working for that school can be so exhausting. I haven't been able to just be me in over a year. Not since I took that job as a student am uh, ambassador. Perfect grades, perfect manners, perfect life. It's also fake. But I have to keep doing this to make my dad happy. Fuck it. Tonight is my night. No more holding back. Wow, voice crack, right? I yell out uh, right, right as the right as the drop in the song hits. Nobody, nobody, uh, nobody to tell me what to do tonight. I'm a free woman. So glad I managed to convince my boyfriend not to visit this weekend. I'm sick. I don't want to spread it to you. Seems to be enough for him. <laughs> Luckily, he's a germaphobe. Hey, Rupfy! Is it Rupfy? Rupfy? I'm just gonna say Rupfy. Feel one of my friends tap me on the shoulder. Yeah, what? What? Figure you could use a partner for the night. This is Casey. He's looking for a fun girl like you. Is that so? I look over at this smugly confident orca. <laughs> oh, not bad. You come here often? I look off to the side and disguise a scoff. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Ugh, what the hell? I guess I could have some fun with this guy anyway. I take it, uh, I take it you do, though. Care to show me the ropes? Gladly! As he comes in close and wraps his arms around me from behind, I see my friend walking away with a thumbs up. You owe me one, Rafi! <laughs> I'll buy you a drink, Lara Danny! 
With that, she disappears into the gyrating crowd. Me and the orca dance side to side along with the beat. So, what brings a nice girl like you to a place like this? Oh, please don't patronize me. Tonight, I'm here to unwind. Nice! I dig it. I'd say I'm here for the same thing. We have the whole night to unwind. In fact, ugh. Danny sure knows how to pick him. Maybe I would have preferred to be alone. So, what do you like to do for fun? My eyes widen as he rests his head next to mine on my shoulder. I'm sure I can figure out some way to make him leave. <laughs> Me? I'm a student at USL. What do you think I do? Ah, I graduated from there several years ago. Hmm. <laughs> Let me think about the girls I used to know there. You'd probably like to get down and dirty with the sisters in your sorority, huh? With an annoyed smirk quickly, uh, an annoyed smirk quickly forms my face on my face. Actually, I'm a student ambassador. Oh, I can feel his grasp on me start to loosen up. Not into my kind, are you, Casey? That's okay. I'm not into yours either. Let me bore you a bit, then. Uh, it's so hard to find time for fun like this. You got me running ragged most days. Do you know anything about the program? Uh... We're the ones who have to kiss ass all the time and represent the school to prospective, uh, to pros uh, prospective uh, rich donor donors. Usually when they visit the campus, but sometimes we have to make special trips to meet them, you know? Sounds annoying, yeah. Not to mention, we run up for the mentors during new student orientation. We run back for the hour. Uh, huh. It's so hard to balance my studies with my work. I just wish some days it would all disappear. Uh, yeah. Say, I forgot my, I forgot I left my jacket over there. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> sure, go get it, sweetie pie. <laughs> all right. With that, he disappears into the crowd. Presumably never be seen again. Good riddance. I'm gonna have to brush my teeth real good after that one. Sweetie pie? My god, I disgust my, even myself. At least it got me results. With a sigh, I start making my way for the side door. I could use a breather. I step out into the back alley. Huh. Usually there's smokers and homeless people pa uh, passed out down here. Oh well. More privacy for me. I look up at the night sky. Must be past midnight right, right about now. I check my phone, and sure enough, I'm right in my prediction. Also, see my boyfriend uh, has inundated me with text messages. And it's all the usual prattle. Get well soon. I love you. Can't wait to see you again. Ugh. I know he means well, but he can be a lot to handle. I always have to be there to make him feel better about himself. Like he's being a good boyfriend. I really should break up with him, but... I just don't have the heart to do it. Hey, girl! What's with you all of a sudden? I turn around in surprise when I hear my friend call out to me. Danny? How'd you know I was here? I didn't tell anyone I was going outside. 
She smiles at me. I take I take it things didn't go well with Casey, huh? He's not my type. Sorry. Ah, bummer. I know she had uh, hasn't come any closer since she stepped through the door. <laughs> Just gonna stand there. There's room on this rail for uh, more than one, you know. Ugh, such prime and proper behavior from the daughter of one of the school's biggest donors. <laughs> you bitch! Don't bring it, bring up my uh, bring my dad up at a time like this. Instead of firing him back like she usually does, she just stands there smiling still. Huh. Now that I think about it, I made a thing to never t uh, tell any of my friends about my dad's well. When did I tell you about my dad anyway? Did you look me up or something, Danny? Are you spying on me? I vary my tone wildly to make it clear I'm being sarcastic, but... Something strange in her expression now. Danny? <sighs> she lets out a sigh. Then produces a sharp object that uh, glistens in the mood moonlight. Whoops. Forgot about that. What a secret to keep from your friends, don't you think? What are you doing, Danny? She looks at her. Sounds like her. Shit! Before I have any time to process what I'm seeing, whoever this is lunges at me. Instead of the pain I was expecting, I hear a sound of a body being tackled and pushed to the floor. Huh? I look down at the struggling masses on the floor, one of which looks like my friend. The other. Run! He yells out at, uh, at me. Uh, he yells out to me as he struggles with the imposter. Uh, okay. Not wanting to be in this position any longer. I dash back into the inside, uh, dash back inside the club. I'm halfway down the hall before I come to my senses. This is... This is fucking stupid. Shake my head in disbelief. Am I gonna let that guy do whatever the hell he's gonna do to my friend? Just as quickly as I arrived at this point, I turn around and return to the door. Gently open it and peek outside through the crack. There's nothing. No blood. Not even signs of a struggle. Did I just imagine the whole thing? I open the door all the way just to be sure. Nothing at all. Huh. I hold a hand up to my head. Yeah, figures. Pounding headache. God, they've been so bad ever since I started coming to the school here. We're here to study and learn, right? So why is it they uh, run us ragged all the time? Can't even fathom how many sleepless, stressed out nights I've spent hocked up on caffeine at this point. Just, ugh. Damn it, Blake. Why'd you have to be so good to me? Why can't you just been one of those abusive types who would be easy to leave you? Maybe this is all a sign that I need to grow up. Let out a long sigh and slowly return to the main hall. Doesn't take me long before I find my friends. Or, well, 
before they find me. Jesus, Ruthie, where the hell did you go? It was like all of a sudden you disappeared. Uh, relax, I just stepped outside to get some air. Here I think I was thinking Casey might have kidnapped you. Stare at Danny trying to make sense of everything I saw only a moment ago. You alright? Look like, you look like you've seen a ghost. It, it's nothing. Guess there's an adjustment period after not doing the whole club thing for a while. Let's sit down in our spot, okay? The girls lead me uh, lead me to the table we always take. Danny passes me a drink, but I refuse. No thanks. Not feeling up to it all of a sudden. She shrugs her shoulders. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. <laughs> More for me then. With my blessing, she chugs down practically half of it in one gulp. What a lush. So nonchalant considering how she was minutes ago outside. All the more reason to believe it was a guilt and stress induced hallucination. Still, it's a burning question I have on my mind. Hey, uh. Hmm? What's up? They both look over at me from above their, drinking, uh, their drink glasses. Have I ever talked to you guys about what my dad does for a living? Danny raises her eyebrow. Uh, no, I don't think you have. You're very touchy around the subject, so I never pressed further. Same. Oh, okay. She leans forward on the table with a, with a devious grin. Though, now you got me interested. If you're willing to tell. Uh, it's nothing that big. I, I was just, I was just wondering. Well, if they don't know, there's no reason, and there's no reason they need to. I'll just make up a good lie. Uh, he's the regional manager of a chain of supermarkets where, uh, where we're from. Danny seems to deflate immediately. <laughs> That's it. All the buildup over the years, for that. Not gonna lie, it's pretty lame. My dad in a nutshell, basically. I lean back in my seat and close my eyes. So much for that. <laughs> I'm just not gonna think about it anymore. Clearly all the stress lately is getting to me. Particularly concerning my boyfriend. I think I know what I have to do now. Ben? My left ear unconsciously twitches at the sound of my name. It's almost noon. Ugh. I slowly sit up from my bed and throb the sleep from my eyes. <laughs> Welcome back to the realm of the living. <laughs> Damn, I've been making a making a habit of that la that lately, haven't I? If you need to sleep, sleep. It's better than wandering around campus like a zombie, right? I smile at him as I slip out of bed and into a quick stretch routine. Out of uh, courtesy, the dragon turns his attention back to, the, to his computer screen. You seem to be in a good mood. I am. <laughs> he clacks away at his keyboard. My parents and I are going to a concert down in Los Angeles this weekend. We're going to stay the night in a hotel down there. We're leaving soon. Oh, really? I'm sure Russell's going to be disappointed his favorite dragon won't be around for a bit. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Who's the band? Oh, it's a jazz festival honoring the greats. 
a tribute band that's playing some of some of my dad's hits. Ooh, nice. In terms of sen uh, seniority, huh? You could say that, yeah. Not worried you're gonna miss anything up uh, uh, up here. He shakes his head enthusiastically. Nah, I took care of everything important already. He finishes up what he uh, he was writing and closes uh, closes his laptop. Well, guess that's it. Mari packed, so I'll see you tomorrow evening. Have fun, have fun, safe trip, the trip, dude. Thanks. I finished up my uh, stretches right as he uh, he's walking out the door. As much as I like the guy, it's nice to know that I'm going to have the whole place myself for a while. Don't have to worry about him stepping in on, on me in a compromising position. <laughs> anyway, I should get washed up. I'm hungry. I take the shortest path back to the dorms. Cutting across the sophomore quads in the fitness center. Ah, nothing like having a sandwich from the UC. Still, these have uh, nothing on on those monster subs Russell likes at the uh, at the local grocery store. I should head down there one of these days to get another. Could pick up some groceries too. Would probably save a lot of money if I did that more regularly. The markup at the marketplace is absolutely insane. Hey, kid. Yeah? The figure I recognize sitting in the shade of the St. Lucie statue in front, of, in front of the art building. Oh, it's Russell. What's up? Not wanting to... Oh my gosh, not this again. <laughs> the wonders of, the absolute wonders of doing this stuff in one take, right? <laughs> not wanting to keep him waiting. I join him under the shade. Nothing much. Just got back from lunch at the UC. Right on, right on. So, uh, no Zach this weekend, huh? Nope. I take it he told you he's going to a concert in LA already? Yeah, he called me earlier this morning. What a bummer, huh? Well, it's nice when I have the room all to myself, but I can't just say that now, can I? I'm sure he misses us, too. <laughs> oh, please. What's a couple of nobodies like us I gotta offer when there's some famous people and shit in L.A.? Uh, you're not exactly a nobody, Russell. Despite my best efforts. Oh well, I'm happy for him. My eyes widen as Russell pulls out a cigarette from his neck pouch. Uh, uh, what? Russell, I thought you quit smoking. Holds it up to his lips and... Takes a bite out of it with a satisfying crunch. <laughs> Relax, kid, they're just candy sticks. Though I definitely got the reaction I was looking for. But what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you should see your face! What's the big deal, huh? Gotta fill this fucking pouch with something, right? Russell strikes with a triumphant pose. It's part of my aesthetic. If I'm not smoking cigarettes anymore, the least I can do is candy cigs, eh? 
Oh, brother. Wait. Wait, where are you going? Back to my room, you dork. He catches up to me and grabs me by the shoulder. Surely you don't have uh, better things to do than to hang out with your senpai. Wanna bet? I smirk calling his bluff. I could catch a couple of streams, listen to music, read a book, do some homework. You'd seriously rather be doing homework right now instead of being with me? Why yes, I quite enjoy slamming out 20 page essays due 24 hours after they're signed. You wound me, Ben. He gives me puppy, puppy dog eyes that, that are hard to refuse. In all seriousness, no, I don't really have anything better to do. The weather's nice today. You wanna go to the beach? Huh? Like the one downtown? No, like the one on campus. Oh, jeez. Don't tell me you forgot about it. Uh. <laughs> You're going to school right on the coast. And you barely even visit it? I I've just been busy, okay? Well, that's gonna change today. Go pack some sunscreen or whatever the shit you want. Let's hit the beach. Spend some bro time together. Should I bring a bathing suit? I'm not, but if you want to jump in the water, then more power to you. Never cared for how cold it is. Then I'll just bring a towel. <laughs> I'll meet you in the front of your dorm in ten minutes then. Alright, see you soon. With that, we split off from each other and start to prepare for our afternoon on the beach. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I like this already. With my backpack stuffed with supplies, I exit, I exit out onto the field beside the dorm building. Keep an eye out for Russell, but with no luck. Huh. Guess it's taken him longer to prepare than he thought. After a couple of minutes of waiting, I decided I'll, I'll try to catch him on his way instead. Just need to head this way towards the Bavarian Bridge. Oh? Now that I've turned the corner, I see the reason why Russ is late. <sighs> sure feels like deja vu with, uh, with you two cornering, uh, cornering me again. Took you long enough. I've been attending classes for over a month now. You're really bad at uh, making me drop out, you know? You know that? <laughs> Keep her on your mouth, pig. You're gonna regret it someday. Wow, casual species is up. I'm so disappointed you, Blake. You're supposed to be the nice one, too. Russell... You need to stop this. Can't function without your butt buddy Sam either, huh? The bull terrier that makes eye contact with me as I approach, swiftly changing his expression. Uh, what's going on here? Not one to leave a friend hanging. I join Russell's side in solidarity. None of your concern, Ben. Go away from me by the dorms. Ben? What are you doing here? Wait a second. I recognize you. Aren't you the kid who checked in late for orientation? I nod in Sam's direction. I know who he is, but I'm not surprised he barely remembers me. Yeah, that's right. He carried my bags uh, to my dorm room. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> it was nothing. Just doing my job. Has 
As you are now, I suppose. Run defense for your students against an alleged uh, sex pest like me. Bull Terrier makes eye contact with me again before turning his attention to the lion. Uh, given present company, can't say the things that I would I would have liked to say. Fold my arms and frown. I know exactly why they're confronting Russell right now, but I want them to say it. No, Flake. Actually, I think I'd like to hear what all this is about. Two mentors look at each other for, uh, for reassurance. Russell nudges at me in the side with the arm. But yeah. What, what did I just say? Russell nudges me in the side with his arm. Why did I say it the way I did say it? That's That wasn't even like a correct sentence. Ah. You don't have to do this, kid. I can stand up for myself. This is bullshit, and you know it, Russell. You don't need to go making enemies on my behalf. Wait. What are you doing? Step past Russell and uh, face down the mentors directly. This is about the girl, isn't it? I feel a surge of fire within. Um... Uh, they stammer in surprise at my forwardness. I already know who you two are. You used to be close friends with Russell back in the day. I point at each individually. Blake and Sam. It's kind of funny because didn't we already know Blake through Brian's route? I mean, I guess I get I get I guess it's kind of some weird kind it's kind of weird like thing where like um this kind of weird thing where like because i'm guessing today is like the neutral day so like it's kind of written as if like blake kind of barely knows ben you know or like or at least like maybe like there's a few lines that implies that like he likes him or not oh my god he likes oh my gosh that he knows him <laughs> and like um Okay, that, that makes... Okay, and then it's like... But, like, in general, this is more like a neutral scene. So, okay. Good to know. Blake raises an eyebrow. What is this, Ben? Let me finish talking. My heart rushes within my chest. Am I really good doing this? Blake, you're one of the senior members of the mentorship program. You're the one everyone looks up to for leadership and advice. You're my brother. Okay, so maybe. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to play out in Carlos and Nate's route. Anyways, continuing. You're my brother in uh, in Chi Pi Beta uh, too. I've heard nothing but good things about you, save for one obvious thing. Turn my attention to the Panther. And Sam, you and Russell were tight like this. I wrap my hands together and squeeze them in a metaphorical gesture. For a time, Russell continue, considered you his best friend. You hung out together, played video games together, smoked weed together. Blake looked over at Sam with surprise. You smoked weed on campus? Sam merely shrugged his shoulders. You even taught R Russell how to surf. And yet, just like Blake, there's only one bad thing I've heard about you. I turned to R I welcome Russell back into the conversation. But the both of you turned your backs on a friend when he needed you most. Didn't even attempt to hear, hear his side of the story. Shoot first, ask questions never, or so I've heard. I fold my arms and face the two with a stern expression. Now, I know the circumstances seem bleak, but where I come from, friends don't throw friends under the bus like that. I hope you never have to find uh, out one day what it's like to have your world come crashing down on you, around you, only to find out nobody's got your back, particularly the ones you're supposed to trust as friends. Blake t uh, takes a step forward with a uh, slight snarl. 
I don't know what kind of fire this is, but I won't back down. Let's come over you, man. Katie was our friend, too. Oh, wait, I'm using Russell's voice here. Are we supposed to just ignore everything that happened to her? Russell puts a hand on my shoulder and pulls me back to where he's standing. You did good, kid. But let me take it from here. He stands tall and, and addresses the pair directly. No. That was never the question to begin with. I never expected you guys to ignore Katie's withdrawal from the school. I just hoped you two would have given me the chance to talk about it and help me figure out what the fuck happened. Instead, you, uh, you jumped onto the narrative without question and turned your backs to on, on me. Fuck. Man. Do you have any idea what the, what that feels like? They both uh, take uh, they both look taken aback at Russell, surprising and uncharacteristic, uh, uncharacteristically un uh, uncharacteristic honesty. There we go. And you. He points at Blake in particular. You've even told me I should kill myself over what I did. Well, I'll have you know I thought about it. Many times, in fact. Russell's gaze uh, uh, wanders up to the uh, rooftops to, of, uh, of the upperclassmen dorms around the river. Across the river. I stood on the roof there contemplating whether I should handle another semester of this shit. Or if I should just throw myself over and just be done with it. Russell... Sam ch uh, chiming in causes the lion to turn his attention to him. Don't look at me like that. We even talked about this stuff, Sam. <laughs> Remember the time we made the, we the Bay of Pax thing? We both rather burn our burn out bright rather than fade away. What happened to us, bro? What happened to you? You used to be so chill and free spirited. Now you're all business and no fun allowed. Yeah, sure, I picked up cigarettes. But do you blame me when my closest friends abandoned me when and wished me dead? <laughs> Hustle takes a deep breath. And to my surprise, he smiles. <sighs> Look, I'm sure that nothing I say about the incident is going to change your minds. Hell, I have a lot of baggage over it. I still need to sort out myself. He gives me a little nod in my direction. Luckily, I found myself some real friends who were helping me with that. The mentors stare off in different directions, avoiding all contact with me, uh, eye contact with me and Russell. But here's the thing. I don't care what you think anymore. I spent so long wondering if I was worthy of redemption. I psyched myself out of even trying. I may not be a mentor anymore. But I've got but I've got friends who look up to me. And by fuck am I gonna be the and by fuck am I gonna be the best damn senpai anyone could ask for. So yeah, I believe that uh, I believe believe what you want to believe about me. I'm not living my life based on what you think of me anymore. Russell turns his back on his old friends and starts making his way towards the main path. Uh, <laughs> I turn around, and follow suit, but not before politely waving goodbye to the mentors. I sure hope this isn't going to impact my relationship with the frat. Besides, aren't there bigger fish to fry? Uh, bigger, bigger fish, bigger fish to fry out there. I heard there's a murderer on the loose. Surely, killing people is a more heinous crime than anything, right? Russell, wait! The lion leaves them with one last rude gesture uh, raised at the, uh, to the sky before we disappear around the corner.
Within a few minutes, we find ourselves in front of the, uh, 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 the uh, Bizla building. You think that'll get uh, get them off your back? The lion turns to me and smiles. <laughs> Who fucking cares? I'm not gonna let them dictate how I feel. Right on. Um. Russell clears his throat before continuing. Thanks for sticking up, uh, sticking up for me, kid. Huh? Wraps an arm around me and pulls uh, pulls me close for a uh, fist rub to the uh, to the scalp. Uh, hey! I instinctively break away from it. You've come a long way since uh, our talk at uh, at Cambrian. Yeah, well, I just wish you were honest with me back then. I know. I'm just saying. You see now the shit that I've been uh, I've had to deal with ever since the the incident. But he came around eventually, as did Chris. I don't have high hopes for Blake or Sam, but if they ever want to hear my side of the story, I'm not gonna leave them hanging. And I have you and Zach to thank for that. They're <laughs> the best co eyes in the world. Ah, that's all. I return the gesture from earlier and pull him close. Wh what? I rub my own fist into his scalp. <laughs> I see I've taught you well. <laughs> Let's hurry up to the beach, dude. I'll even give you the grand tour of, of the place. I wouldn't have it any other way. With reinvigorated confidence, Russell takes the lead as we, uh, as we uh, wind across campus for uh, for our destination. Can't wait to tell Zach about everything that happened today. Oh, that was a good day. It's it's stuff like this that makes me really really love this visual novel. It's very honest and very real, and uh, I'll explain more later once I uh, <clears throat> once I uh, uh, finish this episode. So, anyways, let's continue. I roll over in bed, trying to ignore the sound of my phone buzzing. It's probably just Karina, anyway. Ah. I feel every joint in my body creak as I force myself up. I reach over to my desk and grab the vibrating glass rectangle. This better be good, Karina. It's 7am. Oh, it's Russell, actually. Hey kid, you up? Seriously, man. Sleep, sleep. Seriously, man. Sleep is for the dead. Wake up! This is important. Important. Crap! What happened? Without thinking any further, I press the call button. Did Blake and Sam corner him again? Something happened. But uh, happened to Zach. I hate the uncertainty. Sup? I'm left in a very confused state after hearing Russell's greeting. What's the emergency? <laughs> I knew that that would get your attention. What? Practically deflate on my side of the conversation. Got any plans today, kid? Can you tell me what's up first? Oh, whoops. My bad. I was kind of in the middle of, you know, sleep. I emphasized the word in a facetious manner. I'm annoyed, sure, but I'm not necessarily angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you were. 
Catching up on your beauty sleep while Zach isn't around, eh? Yep, totally. <laughs> Just how mean of a fap session did you have last night? Uh huh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, come on, I know how it is. I had roommates myself the first two years I was here. Guys take any any alone time they can get, you know what I mean? But well, uh he's not exactly wrong. I did get in a good session last night. That's none of his freaking business what I do down there. Do you always have to make things awkward? Yep. Always. Keeps all of us grounded, you know? I see. <laughs> You'll understand when you're older, kid. Can you cut to the chase? Why'd you wake me up so early? Alright, alright. I see I'm getting on your nerves. I just wanted to have a little fun with my gohai. Is that so bad? Not really in the mood, man. Between the nightmares and this situation with Brian. All I want to do is relax. Fair enough. I'll just tell it like it is. Feel free to turn to, uh, to turn it down if you're not up for it. Up to it. Go on. Okay, so Chris asked me for a favor. I'm going to be driving him up to San Francisco today. So he can uh, pick up a computer part he ordered. Can you just shift it here? He could, but apparently he's working on a really tight budget. On a really tight budget. It says he couldn't afford the extra shipping cost, so he decided to go for in-store pickup. Oh, jeez. I wonder what it is. Who knows? Those computer science geeks get, uh, yeah, get up to all sorts of weird shit, is all I'm saying. Anyway, I was thinking about making a day trip out of it. Would you like to join us? Huh. It's good to see that they're on good terms again. Sounds like a big favor. One you would only a ask from a friend. Uh, I wouldn't uh, want to get in the way of you two reconnecting. Kid, that should be the we uh, that should be the least of your worries. Chris and I are cool. We've hung out at least four times this past week already. Is that true? Wow. I'm extending this offer because I'd like to spend more time with you, too. Bet you'd invite Zack if he were here. <laughs> that much is a given. He texted me last night and said everything's uh, going good down here, down, that, down there in LA. That's one positive, at least. Man, you're down hard for, uh, down hard for him, aren't you? My turn to put him on the defensive. I suppose I am. Not that it matters. Anyway, I'm content just be, uh, being his secret admirer from afar. Uh-huh. Sure. So, a trip to San Francisco, huh? Can't say I saw much of it from the drive here. The airport isn't even in the city itself. You just saw the outskirts. Kind of like Chicago, then. More or less. Ever wanted to see the Golden Bridge, uh, Golden Gate Bridge, kid? I've only ever seen it in pictures. Well, if you come with me, you'll get to see the real thing. It's tempting for sure, but... I glance longingly at my bed. If I stay, the... I can get a bit more sleep. That also means I'll have homework to think about. And also him. Maybe a little break isn't such a bad idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, what the hell? I'll join you! Finally! I thought you'd never make up your mind! Hey, it's not my fault you woke me, uh, woke me at 7 on a Sunday. You'll get over it. I told Chris to meet me in front of the dorms by 8. So that, uh, so that, uh, that should give you enough time to wash up. Alright. 
Should I bring anything with me? Uh, it can get a bit breezy down by the water. A light jacket should, uh, won't hurt. Alright. I'll see you soon then. Word. With that, the call ends. <sighs> Let out a brief sigh. This isn't what I had in mind for the day, but it's better than anything else I could have done. Karina's busy doing Karina things, and Zack's off in L.A., La La Land. Yeah, I think I made the right choice. I do a brief set of stretches before heading, uh, heading to the showers. After double checking to make sure I have everything I need, I lock the door behind me and proceed down the hall. Like usual, many of my neighbors are casually walking around the building and having conversations with each other. Without giving it a second thought, I quickly descend uh, the staircase towards the exit. Oh! Ben! Hi! I somehow managed to get there right around at the same time as Chris. Hey, Chris. Russell told me you're joining us. Yep, that's right. This is going to be so fun. I smile widely at him. Normally his chipper attitude would get on my nerves, but today... It just seems right. Looking forward to it, too. Russell should be pulling up any uh, pulling up outside any minute now. Let's not keep him waiting, waiting, then. Out the door and around the corner we go. I notice a distinct uh, spring in uh, uh, Chris's step, and how his tail won't stop wagging. Man, I wish I had half the enthusiasm uh, he has on a day-to-day -day basis. There you are. Took you long enough. Check, uh, check the time as we approach. But we're not even late. <laughs> five minutes early is the same thing as uh, being five minutes late. Uh, in what reality? I absentmindedly uh, blink a few times in his direction. It's too early for this mind game shit. You'd never make it in show business, kid. Are you, are you still doing your comedy routine, Russell? Well, you actually remembered that? Well, I still have your business card and all. That's right, my amateur comedian card. Didn't I give you one too, Ben? I think so, yeah. To tell the truth, I haven't done any shows in a while. My heart hasn't been in it. You know how it is. So, sorry. Maybe I'll start it up again soon. I hear the Saint Street Cafe is always looking for uh, uh, for uh, for new acts to host. Maybe I'll add a section about a cute cat, an Australian Shepherd couple. Uh, excuse me. Huh? huh? Uh. The lion practically falls over, laughing at our expense. But we don't come across as a couple, do we? <laughs> Maybe not in this universe. But I'm sure there's one out there where you two are, uh, you two are two peas in a pod. You, uh, where you are two peas in a pod. That's wildly inappropriate. I don't know why this has me blushing so hard. It's not like I'm not uh, on the receiving end of Russell's jokes uh, all the time. Chris is my mentor, nothing more. All right, it's just a, it was just a joke. See, I'm kind of rusty, rusty. My delivery needs some work. 
Isn't your car still on? Right. We should probably get going. We're definitely five minutes late now. Touche. With all that out of the way, Russell waves for us to hop in into his car. Naturally, I take the back seat again. It's always kind of been my place. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to save. So yeah, I know it's, I'm doing another uh, shorter episode, but that's, you know, because life stuff, you know? But I do plan on making longer episodes again, you know, 70 minute, minutes long. But yeah, that was, oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. Honestly, October 13th was really, really good, and it made me... It made me really think about my own... Again, it's, that's what's crazy about this visual novel. Not a lot of furry visual novels, just visual novels in general make me like think about my own life and my own relatable experiences. So, like, you know, being able to, to stand up and say that, you know, what people, what the people that hurt you did hurt. But it's crazy to think that, you know, people that you used to call your friends hurt you so badly and it drove you to the point where you know you you would be actually legitimately question to end it all you know and but knowing sometimes that you you find new people in life that understand you and hear you out and like you for the way you are and not throw you under the bus and throw you away for other people to you know for your own benefit you know and learning to just not care what they think anymore. Oh, man, like, Russell's speech uh, towards Blake and Sam was, oh, it hit hard, and I really, really liked it. And I'm also curious about the mystery at the party there. It seems like Rutvi or Rutfi, I don't know how to pronounce it, I apologize, but um, it seems like there's something suspicious going on with her, it seems like, her and her friends. Because, like, we saw the masked figure, but we also noticed the, the, uh, well, not masked figure, like, the hooded figure. Then the hooded figure, uh, took the form of one of her friends? It's kind of interesting to see where this is going, because it's obvious that there is something more, there is something more supernatural going on rather than a normal explanation. So I'm kind of curious to see where that goes as well. So next time, we're going to spend some time with Russell and Chris. Have a good time in San Francisco. So I hope you all are able to stick around because I'm having a great time with this. So until then, see you all next time. Bye.